Lizards, lizards! Some of you kids have been asking for a lizard video. Most recently, someone awesome named Tiffany requested it, and, well, it's time. It really is. But first, I'm going to ask you a question about lizards. What type of animal is a lizard? Hmm. Do you know? Uh-huh, a reptile. Lizards are reptiles. So what does that mean? What are reptiles? Well, reptiles are animals that are covered in scales. Their scales are amazing. They're actually waterproof, which is perfect for our reptile friends. The scales offer lizards and other reptiles a lot of protection and help them lose less water if they're in a dry environment. Here's another cool thing about reptiles. Reptiles are cold-blooded, meaning their temperature changes depending on where they are. They are cold-blooded. If they start to feel cold, they can lay out in the sun to warm up, or they can stay out of the sun if they feel warm to cool off. And catch this, reptiles like lizards breathe air. That's right, they breathe air. They breathe air through their lungs, like we breathe air through our lungs. That's right, just relax and breathe, lizard. Relax and breathe. So lizards are reptiles, which means lizards are covered in scales, they are cold-blooded, and they breathe air. Now, when you learn about lizards, something you need to understand is there are so many different types of lizards. I mean, a ton. There are over 7,000 different types of lizards. 7,000! When you think of a lizard, you might picture a chameleon. Chameleons are lizards. They are most famous for how they can change color, although there are other lizards that can change color too. My favorite thing about chameleons? Their eyes. Their eyes. The way their eyes move allows a chameleon to see in every direction. You can't sneak up on or surprise a chameleon with their super eyes. Wait, are you watching us, chameleon? What? <laughs> We're just learning here. We're learning about lizards. We see you looking. You can see in every direction, chameleon. We know you're watching us. Or maybe when you think of lizards, you think of Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons are huge lizards. In fact, Komodo dragons are the biggest lizards in the world. A Komodo dragon can weigh as many as 200 pounds. I saw a Komodo dragon in real life. It was crazy. Shout out to Riverbank Zoo in Columbia, South Carolina. The Komodo dragon was really cool. They aren't a sponsor. I'm just a fan. And the Komodo dragon there was awesome. When you hear the word lizard, maybe you don't think of chameleons or Komodo dragons. Maybe you think of geckos. Geckos are small lizards that are known for the noises they make, depending on the type of gecko. They can make clicking sounds, chirps, and other noises, especially around other geckos. Geckos are small lizards that like to communicate with each other, which is great. They let you know when something's going on, and I can appreciate that. Oh, now it's time to share a crazy lizard fact with you. But before I share that fact with you, I want to introduce you to this type of lizard called an iguana. They are easy to spot because of the spikes that come from their head and back and their long tails. Iguanas have really long tails. In fact, more than half the length of an iguana is just its tail. Now, here is the crazy fact. An iguana can release its tail if a predator grabs it. In self-defense, an iguana can just let go of its tail if its tail gets caught. It's amazing because an iguana has a really long tail and that tail can get an iguana in some trouble if a predator gets a hold of it. Now, 
That's cool, but that's just part of it. You see, an iguana can usually regrow a new tail in its place. The new tail won't look the same as the old one, but an iguana can usually get a new tail. It's almost magical. All right, now I want to show you two types of lizards that are popular lizards to take care of as pets. They are bearded dragons and leopard geckos. Bearded dragons and leopard geckos. Let's talk about bearded dragons first. Bearded dragons get their name from the fact that they look like they have a facial hair situation going on. What looks like a beard is actually spiky skin. The spiky skin can puff out if a bearded dragon wants to scare something away. That's how a bearded dragon tries to intimidate something or someone if the bearded dragon feels threatened. Bearded dragons are omnivores, which means they eat plants and animals. They enjoy eating insects, worms, fruits like apples and bananas, and they like to eat greens. Bearded dragons aren't picky eaters and benefit from a variety of foods. Now let's learn about leopard geckos, the other popular type of lizard to take care of as a pet. Leopard geckos get their name from their spots. Their spots look similar to leopard spots. Leopard geckos are smaller than bearded dragons and don't have any spiky skin under their throats. Unlike bearded dragons, leopard geckos are carnivores. They only eat meat, not plants. They enjoy insects and worms like bearded dragons do, but they pass on the fruits and veggies. Bearded dragons and leopard geckos make great pets because they are simple to take care of, even for beginners, and they are fun, cool, I mean, lizards in general are just awesome. Yeah, especially you, Komodo dragons, although I think you are slightly too big, you know, for me and Mr. Whiskers, okay? <laughs> Lizards. They are reptiles. There are over 7,000 different types of lizards, and they all have special things about them, like chameleons with their eyes that can see in every direction. What? Komodo dragons are huge. Wow. Geckos can make all sorts of noises depending on the type, and iguanas have cool spikes and magical tails. Okay. You know what? I like lizards. There. I admit it. I'm a lizard fan, and <laughs> no, Mr. Whiskers, we are not going to get a Komodo dragon, okay? Maybe like a stuffed animal of a Komodo dragon. Let's be honest, that would be a cool stuffed animal. Maybe put that on my birthday list. You watched this video to the end, which is so cool. Real quick as we wrap this up, if you have not subscribed to our channel, if you'll take a moment to do that, we have so many learning videos and we want you to be in the loop with new uploads. So click subscribe if that sounds like a blast. We hope you had a fun time. Thank you for watching. We want to give a massive thank you to our patrons. You can learn how to support us and get homeschool pop tattoos so fashionable on our website, homeschoolpop.com, or by clicking the link below this video. That would be really cool. You know you're awesome. We know you're awesome. And we're excited to see you on the next learning video. Is the chameleon still watching us? Still watching us. You know, the video's over. It's, it's all done. The kids are going to go. They're going to learn something else, okay? I, I get it. You can see in every direction, but we're, we're leaving. Goodbye.